Hello and welcome everybody to a poker chip review PCR. We have the lovely elite poker chips out here on the table today. Special thanks to pokerchipforum.com. We can discuss these chips among everything poker out here on Poker Chip Forum. You can say hi to me, Hoppy Philic. People always stop by and will private message me saying, you know, hey, I bought these chips because of your reviews and I like the feedback. I appreciate the feedback. So today, Elite. These are made by GPI and they're made in the Paulson factory alongside Paulson chips with the Paulson lammer mold with Paulson materials. Very interesting chip. So let's have a quick look here before we start talking too much detail here. This is called a lammer mold, also a no mold, so no top hat and cane oversized mold, which is good because they have white edge spots across all of them. This is all to protect their casino clients because casinos want the top hat and cane to be a casino only brand. So good, keep their keep their casinos happy, good for them. And, you know, but other than that, I mean, they are just casino grade. I mean, they stand on edge, flat, crisp, sharp edges, very uh, clay-like material. They feel very casino-like. We're gonna do a sound test here at the end, and you can hear the difference between these and blue chips and pulsins and some other chips. So buckle up for that. Some uh, things that you'll notice with manufacturing and kind of quality control, Paulson. <laughs> Paulson is famous for a couple of things. Like I ordered 500 of these, same, same manufacturer, and these have some unique traits. Out of the 500 that I ordered, about three, maybe it was four or five, very few of these had the inlay aligned in any sort of fashion lined up with the edge spots. Inlay edge spots don't match, all right? So I have some family pictures here of Taylor Swift's secret tattoo. Did you know she has a tattoo? Oh, it's is this juicy. Is this a juicy picture? There she is. Look at this tattoo. I don't get it. What's 2T? Is that reminding? Maybe this isn't Taylor Swift. I don't know. Either way, here's the icon of every teenage girl, every girl under the age of 17. This is the icon, all right? Now, for anybody who's normal, they would love this loveliness just like this, but that's not enough for Paulson. That's not good. Paulson needs this. We can't align, we just can't be bothered. In fact, it's like we're intentionally just being mean, right? Didn't, didn't somebody wrote a song about something about mean. And then something else that's funny about these is when you look at some of these, I don't, it's hard, it's hard for me to spot these through the viewfinder, but some of these um, are not going to be perfectly centered, okay? And so you can see there's more space on this side than on this side, because this inlay is just not perfectly centered. And I mean, it's like that here. I have, an, I have a Mirage chip, like casino chips. That's how Paulson just make chips. That's how you know it's authentic. It's like the inlay is not perfectly aligned and the inlay is a little off-centered or crooked or something. There's, the inlays are just going to be like that on a casino grade chip. That's what you're gonna get here with these, casino grade, okay? So not terribly worried about it. Not centered, you know, so Paulson not only doesn't align the edge spots in the inlay, they just can't center the, it's just, it's gonna be slightly skewed over. All right, well, say goodbye to that redhead and say hello to this redhead. Hello, five. Let me spread these out so you can see some of the denominations absolutely perfect tournament set and i say that but there's always somebody who's unhappy with the denominations chosen you'll notice there's no like dollar signs or pound signs here let's put the bounty right there am i on screen yes okay keep plugging away here 100 the pink 500 some people may like that some people may not and we're moving to the 1000 which is always kind of a tricky transition the 500 to 1000 5000 and the 25000 which is great for tournaments. And there we have it. So very, very robust set. You can use this to play Monopoly or a tournament or a cash game. And there's always somebody who's like, but I we play 22 cent, 44 cent blind, so we need a 22. All right, okay, well, at that point, you're at custom chips. There's no 10 cent, no 5 cent, no 99 cent chip. There you go. So those are the denominations. 
and the design is pretty bold. I mean, the nice white, which matches the edge spots, the edge spots, it, people may not like it, but it does bind the, it's like the force. It binds the set together. Yoda would be so proud. Speaking of Yoda, over here, we have a little green goblin. Wait a second. Is that Spider-Man? Is the green, is, but Yoda's a green, I don't know. Anyway, this is Star, <laughs> Star Wars meets Spider-Man, Marvel Comics. All right, so we have some blue chips here, and we're going to do a sound test right now so you can get a better feel of the materials. We have some green, oh, should we get some more green? <laughs> it's a green, it's a green fest. Happy Leprechaun Day, everybody. It's not even close to that. It's Halloween here, and here I am. All right, what else do we want? Ceramics. We want to compare these to some metal slug chips. Do I have anything green looking around here? No. Ceramics. Here we go. Outlaw. All right. So here is an idea of how these will sound. And tell me which one sounds the closest, all right? You will, this, you will get credit for this. This is a quiz for credit. Some obsolete Paulson Horseshoe Cleveland's here. Garden City Blue Chip Company. All right, so tell me which one sounds the most like the Elite Poker Chips. Leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know. All right, so I'm going to put the price and some information up about these chips up here. So you can see prices are always going to change, subject to change, availability subject to change. It's just how this industry works. Looking forward to reading your comments. Always stop by PokerChipForum.com. I am sponsored by PokerChipForum.com along with my patrons. So I need to give credit to all my patrons on Patreon. You can go over there and find my page. There'll be a link in the description below. If you want to support the channel, we're happy to accept your support. There's a little bit of... Um, exclusive content on Patreon. If you'd like to look at that, you can join for a month and have a look around. Also, my Amazon shop. Be sure to visit my Amazon shop. I make a couple of pennies off of everything that's sold there. So some other alternatives, if you're looking for some Primo chips, premium chips, they have the Monaco chips, which are of the same make, just a different design with a dollar sign right there. We're going to review those in full in a future video. You have lots of classic poker chips available. Key West being a great option. We can always go to classic poker chips. They also have things along the lines of the Atlantic Club. And these, these are going to be more than these at the making of this video. So some lovely Atlantic Club. They have the hot stamps for tournament. I would kind of compare these two more than these two because, you know, lovely tournament set with the hot stamps right here. So absolutely lovely. And oh, and finally, I want to talk a little bit about the colors. Because looking at these, there's some, you know, concern about the 25,000s, the 100, and the bounty chips being the same color. So here in this lighting on video, can you see the difference in color? The 100 is black. The bounty is a really dark navy blue. And the 25,000 is a purple. I, the only thing... Two, don't, these would be in play together, and these would be in play together. But I doubt these would ever really be in play together. But, you know, maybe it's different from the edges. Is that pretty easy to see, or not so much? If it's shaded down here, somebody's, like, hiding those. Hard to tell. Either way, I think it's a pretty well de thought out, well designed set. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like the pink 500 over like a purple 500 because that way the 500 and the 100 don't look super similar. Does that make sense? So good on the designer of these chips. Absolutely lovely. There are some competitive options. You're going to pay a little bit more for those. Maybe if you're looking for some ceramics or some ceramic hybrids, those would be good options. Or just the Monaco, other ones of those. Uh, you can also find some obsolete Casino chips, these will usually cost a premium though, so you're gonna pay more for these. And the prices on these just 
bl are blowing in the wind. You know what I mean? Whatever eBay, whatever you can find them for on eBay. And if you have the means, you can make some really awesome custom poker chips like this. This is a homemade chip I made right here. Look at the exquisite. Who needs all of this? Who needs all of that? Just make your own chips. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.